Okay, Ozark Geek here. On to the next project. What you see here is a disc cone antenna that I'm going to be using for SDR and APRS. This antenna will receive from 25 megahertz to 2000 megahertz or 2 gigahertz in the microwave band. And I've been slowly doing this over a little period of time since I'm busy with other things. And uh, just some detail here, you can see the antenna uh, held up with a steel mast and a couple of TV antenna attachments. I've got a ground rot wire screwed to the bottom of the mast going down to the ground and grounded here. Now this is a ground just for the mast itself. The coax, which is going up and you can see it crossing under and it's going to go across the rafters to the other side and I'll ground it down there. Stand by. Okay, now I'm on the other side and again I've got the coax from the uh, disco antenna coming underneath the uh, roofing. Coming down this pipe on the back side, you can kind of see the, uh, the wire there and coming down to a grounding situation. Uh, before everybody starts making comments about how it looks, this is temporary and I know I've heard the expression temporary is permanent. Well, this won't be permanent, but at least the system is ground and uh, surge protected uh, against lightning. Uh, I've also got my solar on the roof coming down and around and then I've got a uh, 2 meter 440 uh, omnidirectional on the top that I'm also using inside connected to a uh, um, Yaesu FT736. The rotor was attached because at one time I had this beam connected to it. Um, decided to take it down for several reasons. Uh, it may go back up at some point in time or another system may go up. But uh, this time and then, uh, so what I've got left to do is cut the coax here, cut the end of the coax where I want it to length and feed it inside the camper so I can hook up uh, and start using for uh, SDR and APRS radios. Um, but anyway, this is uh, my short intro to uh, my SDR project. Hope you like it.